What is art for? So um, that's a very simple question to answer uh, for a non-artist, uh, which is to say that art is, a, art is an, an act um, that a very small percentage of the human population um, needs to do. Art, art is to enjoy, to enjoy life, to make life easier. It's a, you know, completely non-material, non-utilitarian um, action. Um, Art is for all sorts of wonderful things, for pleasure and for stimulation, and we are very fortunate that we actually get to make a living off of it. And um, it can drive you crazy at times, but it can also be great spiritual sustenance which for whatever neurochemical reason, spiritual reason, whatever you want the reason to be, that there are certain individuals whose um, existence, um, just as I'll say the vast majority of people have a need to um, express and feel love, not to be too you know, corny about it. Art gives you a different perception. It looks an, another way of looking at things. There are some people who have this need to um, express um, art, to express as in to churn it out, produce it, create it, make some physical, tangible um, object. Art, art is like food, you have to have it. Uh, to change your mind. Art, it, uh, it has many purposes, I think, you know, it has, uh, and you can enjoy art on many different levels. It has a very intellectual um, level, it has a very art historian, historical level, but it definitely enriches your life and uh, uh, sometimes even it gives purpose to life. I think art is something that is really linked to us in an ancient way. I'm very interested in working in contemporary art and I think art is there to challenge us and to allow us to question and allow us to reflect on certain things. For me, I see painting going all the way back to cave painting and I see sculpture going back to things like standing stones and it's very essential to me that we still have a talisman in our lives now. So in our very contemporary lives, we must find a touchstone or a talisman to the things that link us to a way of rendering our understanding of the world from the past. What it does for all of us um, is another matter. Um, but the, the purpose, its purpose, unless people see its purpose um, as a purpose that's for the art, the individual artist, they get the completely wrong idea of art, that art is some kind of group activity. Give us an, a wider perception of the world. It's, it's, it's on one hand, it's about, it's about beauty, but on the other hand, it's also, I think artists are opening up windows. And this is a perfect example for this, actually, to make you see the world in another way than you would see it when you look at it in your everyday life. The appreciation, buying, selling, uh, assessment, appraisal of art is a group activity. But the art is uh, an individual you know, act. I mean, I think in the, in the uh, most profound way, it's uh, to feed the soul. As opposed to a lot of other creations, which uh, do have a purpose. I'm, someone makes orange juice because other people want to drink it. Um, someone you know, raises pork bellies because people like uh, bacon. Um, that is not the case for art. I think it's a chance to have a better life. Art is for uh, many different things for many different people. For some people coming through the fair, art is purely for pleasure to look at and enjoy. And and uh, make opinions on whether they like or not. For people like myself and my family, it's both business and pleasure. It is a byproduct of being an artist, is what art is for. And the only reason we know or care about it is that it's a byproduct of something that we all possess 
in very small measure that they may possess in a very great measure. And so we can then recognize something as art even though we don't create it.